Hello viewers, this video is about the concept of mathematical modeling of physical systems. In order to understand the behavior of a system, there is a need to develop a mathematical model which details the important features of the physical system necessary for the system analysis. The mathematical model developed can be linear or nonlinear depending on the complexity of the system involved or the degree of complexity needed for the analysis. However, compared to nonlinear systems, the linear models are usually faster to develop and easy for computation. It is a good practice to initially develop a very crude or elementary model to get a quick insight into the overall behavior of the system. Based on that model, the model can be further refined by including more details or components of the system under study for a better understanding of the system and the principles governing the system. In order to have a basic understanding of the principles involved in the development of the mathematical model, we will consider the rider and his motorcycle be the physical system under study. Now, I am labeling the main components of the system that we will consider for the modeling process. We start with the simplest model and will then refine it gradually when the equivalent values of the mass, stiffness, and damping are known, we obtain a single degree of freedom model of the motorcycle with a rider as shown. Here K with the subscript EQ depicts the equivalent stiffness of the system which includes the stiffness of the tires, struts and the rider. C equivalent includes the damping of the strut and the rider. The equivalent mass includes the masses of wheels, vehicle body, and the rider. Now the model can be further refined by representing the masses of the wheels, elasticity of the tires, elasticity, and damping of the struts separately. The mass of the rider and the mass of the vehicle's body are shown as a single mass here. However, we can further refine the model by considering the elasticity and damping of the rider that you can see in this model. The refined model can be simplified by combining the spring constants of both tires, wheels, and the spring and damping constants of both struts. So we started out with this simple one degree of freedom model and added more degrees of freedom and information of the system as we further refined the basic model. Thanks for watching, if this video was helpful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Bye and have a nice day.